That's right, baby, the Hopping Huff just got a makeover. We also find out which dealer of the week is the dealer of the week this week. We take a gander at an artist of the week and answer all your questions in question time. So roll that intro. G'day champion, how you doing? Welcome back to Murphy's Magic, what's new this week? I'm of course, Bo. I forgot my name for a second there. Welcome back, my name is Bo Creamer. How are you doing on this absolutely glorious and stormy Wednesday? Hopefully there was lightning that hit when I pointed up. If not, let's move on. Now my friend, there's been a lot of magic that was released this last week. We've got three sneak peeks for you this week, three. Read them and weep, baby. We're also going to check them out in just a little bit. But first things first, let's jump into question time. This first question comes in from YouTube about Matt Franco's performance on AGT and what is the effect that he performs. Well, my friend, this is called The Open Up by Adrian Vega. If you want to check it out, there'll be a link in the description below. This next question comes in from YouTube as well about My Power Deck and whether the tuck box is marked with the My Power Decks logo. Yes, it is, my friend. Yes, it is. So if you don't want My Power Deck to be on your bicycle tuck case, you can definitely change it out for another tuck case or any other tuck case you want. Although a Cherry's tuck case probably wouldn't make sense for a bicycle tuck case, but you, you pick up what I'm putting down. Now, while we're at it, we might as well have another question from Brendan Pierce about the My Power deck and whether these cards are specially marked or they are marked reader's deck. Now, I have a response directly from Jordan Victoria himself to tell you all about it. Jordan said, hey, Bo, this is a specially marked deck, which has an asymmetry made by the mark. So it's only marked on one side and allows you plenty different kicker routines. So I hope that clears up a few questions for you. Now let's wrap up this question time with last week's word, Dottie. What is Dottie? Well, Dottie is for all my South Australian friends. Dottie is Australian or South Australian for cool. So myself, actually, I learned a new word today, which is pretty Dottie. I apologize to all South Australians if I use that in the wrong context. Now, my friends, what will this week's word be? Only time will tell. Now, if you do have any questions on anything you see in this episode, Please throw them down in the comment section below, but make sure you use the hashtag question time so I can find them amongst all the competition entries. Now let's find out what was released this last week in Magic. Now you're looking for a little bit more Murphy's Magic, a little bit more exclusivity. There's something you're not gonna see everywhere else. Well, my friends, we have the thing for you. Introducing Murphy's Membership. Now in this little ditty, you're gonna get free membership tutorials. Also behind the scenes exclusives at New Effects, where we break down absolutely everything you need to know, even show off the gimmick live on stream, or in tasty little reels and clips just for members only. You also get your name in every single Murphy's custom content video on YouTube. As a special little thank you for being awesome. If you wanna check out these member tiers, link in the description below. Go treat yourself. Now this week's featured magic you definitely want to check out is the super big prime box by Georgia Glacius and Twister Magic and also Blur by Matthew Beach and Garrett Thomas. If you haven't checked out these incredible releases, make sure you do. There'll be links in the description below. Now let's take more of a gander at My Power Deck by Jordan Victoria. For years, magicians all around the world have released their own Mark deck, but this one has advantages that others don't. Jordan Victoria's My Power Deck will be one of your new everyday carry decks, and I'll tell you why. Starting with the price, most Mark decks are very expensive, but this one is not. Then the direct reading. You'll no longer need to decipher code or calculate anything. The reading is as simple as I look, and I know, and the marking can be easily seen of up to 1.5 meters. Then there's the marking location. Nowadays, people become aware that marked decks exist. That's why this marked deck is in a place that people won't see it if they riffle through the deck. And the reading is even simpler. Then onto that asymmetry. This is probably the most important point of this deck. This asymmetry will allow effects that were too previously too complicated to achieve. Now this deck was printed by the United States playing card company on a maiden back design. The tutorial is in English and is over one hour and 45 minutes long and there's 35 plus routines, which covers techniques, tips, and ideas, plus a whole bunch of variations. This deck is also available in red and blue. So if you want to see more on My Power Deck by Jordan Victoria, there's a link in the description below right now. We can pick it up for $9.95. 
Do you need a skill level of an intermediate magician to do it? Next up is the Sword King by Musa and Ding Ding. This is a classic stage magic effect that involves the audience chosen card stabbed with a sword. The Sword King includes a close-up magic feature with an image of a sword of the King of Hearts, which will locate and reveal the spectator's torn card. So if you wanna see more on Sword King, there's a link in the description below right now. We can pick it up for $20 and you need a skill level of absolutely nothing. There's no skill level required. Yes, that's right, it is now time for the news. Now, if you missed it on Saturday on Saturday Sorcery, the one and only Daryl joined us to teach us an awesome way where the spectator does all the magic. That's right, it's a self-working card trick. If you haven't checked it out, make sure you do card on screen right now. Then on Sunday, we decided to treat you to two full performances of Blur, one from Matthew Bish and one from Garrett Thomas. If you haven't checked it out, make sure you do card on screen right meow. Then on yesterday's episode of Stumped, I took a closer look at that awesome effect, letters and numbers by Jerome Salou. If you haven't checked it out, make sure you do. I cover absolutely everything you need to know about this effect on how examinable it is, what the angles are like, and what do you get inside the box. If you haven't checked it out, make sure you do card on screen right now. Now it's time for this week's dealer of the week. With this week, we're taking a closer look at those legends over there at Alakazam. Now, Alakazam has been a family-run business since 1990. Alakazam Magic are one of the longest established magic companies in the UK. And over the last three decades, they have grown to become one of the leading manufacturers and retailers of magic in the world. From their prompt delivery of orders to their knowledgeable technical advice and superior after-sales care, it's no surprise that Alakazam Magic is now the first port of call for thousands of amateur and professional magicians the world over. Now, Alakazam Magic, while they have a brilliant and mortar store in the UK, they also ship directly from the US. But it doesn't stop there, Alakazam also ship over the entire world. And if you're into memberships, Alakazam has one of the best memberships on the market. Definitely check out Alakazam Unlimited today. So if you want to see more on Alakazam and Alakazam Unlimited, link in the description below right now to their website. Go check them out. Now it's time to check out this week's Artist of the Week, where this week we're jumping over to Sonia Benito and her performance of Sleek. Sonia, my friend, over to you. Sonia, 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 what an awesome performance. If you wanna see more of Sonia's work, definitely check out the link in the description below right now to her socials. She does absolutely incredible pieces of magic each and every single day. Now, if you have a performance that you would love to be seen on What's New This Week, or even on our social media, tag us, I'll take a look and share it on the episode or on our social media. It's really that easy. This just in, the random comment entry winners from last week. If you're from Instagram, YouTube, or Facebook, congratulations, my friends. You're the winners of last week's secret prize. Make sure you DM me on any of Murphy's socials and I'll get that prize out to you quicker. You can say, hey, Bo, I've liked the video because I know it'll help out the video loads and it'll bring a big smile to your beautiful face. Stop it, you. You're such a charmer. Now, if you want a chance to win this episode's secret prize, all you need to do is comment in the comment section below what is your favorite effect from this episode. Make sure you comment on all of our social media platforms for more chances to win. Then next week, I'll draw out three random names at random and you'll be announced in the next episode. So good luck. Now it's time to jump over to this week's reviewer on the streets, where this week we're jumping over to Magic Orthodoxy and his review of Blur. David, my friend, take it away, but also bring it back so we could watch it. Cheers, mate. Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name's David and this is a Magic Review. Is it worth your money? It's 40 bucks. $40 is on par for a gaff deck, plus three hours of tutorial, plus their speed readers and gimmicks. The deck's gonna do almost all of the heavy lifting, except for a couple of slides from you. So great price. I would, I would say this could have been 50 bucks, easy. This would have been 50 bucks and you guys still would have bought it. So 40 bucks, I think it's a great price. I'm so glad you brought it back because that was phenomenal. Thank you so much, David. Now, if you want to see the whole review in its absolutely gorgeous entirety, make sure you do. There'll be a link in the description below. Now it's time to check out this week's Deck of the Week. This week, we're taking a look at the Godzilla X Kong, the New Empire Playing Cards Kong Special Edition. 
This deck is a limited edition to only 1500 decks available worldwide. The special editions of the Godzilla X Kong New Empire playing cards boast a unique accordion style tuck box. There's also embossing and hot foiling on this absolutely stunning tuck box. The combination of these luxurious finishing and techniques enhances the overall aesthetic appeal, making these decks a feast for the eyes. The deck also features stunning gilded edges and foiled playing cards. So if you want to see more on this absolutely beautiful deck, there's a link in the description below right now. We can pick it up for $42. Grandma, get in here. Let's take a look at what's back in stock. This first back in stock item is Tic Tac Toe Light Medium by Bon Lee. Now after Tic Tac Toe received great reviews from the Magic community, They've decided to make this fantastic routine more portable and even easy to use. Now this light version comes in three sizes, satisfying most close up and parlor performance situations. Two designs are provided and you can freely customize your own design. This is the perfect magic for everyone. Now if you want to see more on Tic-Tac-Toe Light Medium, there's a link in the description below right now. We can pick it up for $95 and you need a skill level of a beginner magician to do it. This next back in stock item is the Haunted Deck Pro. Now the Haunted Deck is one of the strongest effects you can do. If you can shuffle the deck freely, spread it, dribble it, and then place it down for the astonishing moment. Now previously handling the deck like I previously described will require the master of the subtle art of invisible thread, which is not easy. So I present to you the Haunted Deck Pro, the thinnest mechanical Haunted Deck gimmick ever. The Haunted Deck Pro is the most realistic, reliable, and with nothing to break, they have removed all the risky aspects of the Haunted Deck, leaving you with one of the strongest card effects. So if you want to see more on the Haunted Deck Pro, there's a link in the description below right now to our magic shop, or you can get it worldwide at your favorite magic shop for $85. And you need a skill level of a beginner magician to do it. This last back in stock item is Jupiter by Thomas Bedard. Now Jupiter is not just a trick, it's a new concept in card magic. If you work with cards in your own magic, you can definitely make use of this gimmick for most of your effects. This trick is so easy to do and takes a reset of about 10 seconds. Now the Jupiter trick also has an additional routine called the Jupiter prediction. So I'm sure if you love Jupiter, then you will love the Jupiter prediction. Now I do need to note that the Jupiter does need a table to demonstrate this trick, but it does not need to be your own table. So if you want to see more on the Jupiter, link in the description below right now, we can pick it up for $64.95. And you need a skill level of a beginner magician to do it. Now let's check out some downloads that you don't want to miss. This first download is Bond by Thinking Paradox. Here you can link two borrowed rings visibly and without any switches. The two rings are genuinely borrowed and they're always in plain sight. There's no switches or duplicates, and you can link and unlink them as many times as you want. Now it's perfect for pilot performances, but you can also present it close up with careful attention to the angles. Now, if you want to see more on Bond, there will be a link in the description below right now. We can pick it up for $20.25. This next download is called Window Coins by Tide Master. Everything can be examined before and after. This is practical and easy to do with a unique and simple method. So you can perform it anytime, anywhere. So if you want to see more on Window Coins, coins link in the description below right now we can pick it up for just six dollars this last download is called the automatic prediction this is a 21st century playing card prediction this is for the performer caught without any props it grabs a piece of paper and writes down a prediction which is entrusted to the audience member for safekeeping now the prediction is revealed to perfectly match the spectator's chosen card it uses just your smartphone doesn't require any internet and comes with absolutely everything you need so if you want to see more on the automatic prediction, link in the description below right now, we can pick it up for $9.95. G'day champion, welcome back to Murphy's Magic Game Show. It's me, your host, Grizzly Peterson. Let's jump over and check out what the prizes are for this week. Oh, all those prizes for just one of you. That's tastier than sipping a throffy out by the billabong. Now let's see who won tonight's prize. How are we gonna get that started? Hang on, I know. The old stroke of the beard and dip of the drover hat. That should do it. Yeah, there you go. Oh, hey, oh, oh, close, mate. No cigar. Oh, hey, oh, hey. Hey, congratulations, champion. Make sure you DM me on any of Murphy's socials. I'll get that prize out to you quicker. You can say Bunning Snag. Now, if you want to enter into next week's competition, make sure you comment below and I'll put you into the running for next week. Now, congratulations to our winner for this week and good luck for everyone for next week. Now back to Bo in the studio. 
Hey, welcome back, you absolute champion. How are you doing? And congratulations to that winner. You deserve it, my friend. You deserve it. Now, you watching at home, you deserve to see some sneak peeks. So let's jump into today's first sneak peek. Oh, look at these absolute champions. You guys are the best. It's true. I've Googled it. This first one is Stop It by Adrian Vega. Now, Adrian Vega is back with one of the most fooling tricks he's ever created, and he's only shared this at conventions, but now it's finally released worldwide. Now, you never touch the deck. They stop whenever they want, and the best part, you don't have to do anything at all. They do it all for you. There's no memory or counting work for you. It's super easy to perform and a strong effect that they do in their own hands. And what makes this even crazier, you will not believe that it is that clean. But for this reason, we will share with you the full uncut performance when this releases. You'll receive everything ready to perform, plus a complete tutorial from Adrian Vega sharing with you all of his secrets, all of the psychology of the spectators, and a lot of ideas for this new miracle. Now, if you want to see more on Stop It by Adrian Vega, it drops tomorrow at 7.30 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. You can pick it up for $39.99, and you need a skill level of a beginner magician to do it. This next one is a new release from Bon Lee called The Hopping Keys. Hopping Half is one of the best coin effects in Magic. Now you can achieve this miracle with a set of keys. You can also achieve multiple effects with the hopping key set, such as color changes, transposition splits, and many more. It's a strong, practical, and easy to do interactive magic trick that you can carry on your keychain. So if you want to see more on hopping keys, it drops on Friday at 7.30 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. You can pick it up for $155, and you need a skill level of a beginner magician to do it. Now the last sneak peek is Incredible X by Nicholas Darkin. Now this new release from Nicholas has no doors, no dental dam, no half holes, no opening or closing anything underneath, and no flaps. Mark Mason showed me this live at Magic Live and it absolutely blew my mind. Now this custom built gimmick is easy to do, resets in two seconds, and comes with a step-by-step -step online video tutorial. Now, if you want to see more on Incredible X, it drops next Monday at 7.30 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. You can pick it up for $30, and you need a skill level of a beginner magician to do it. Now, my best friend, if you do have any questions on anything you've seen in this episode, please throw them down in the comment section below. But make sure you use the hashtag question time so I can find them amongst all the competition entries. Now, get out of here. Go on, get it's Wednesday. Go enjoy the rest of your day. I'll see you on Saturday for another free tutorial on Saturday Sorcery on our Discord for our weekly jams, trivia, games, hangouts, and even more. Or I'll see you on Tuesday for a special episode of Stump. Now take care, my friend. See you later. Uh, bye for now. Whoa, hey, whoa, what's that? Oh, you should definitely check out that. Oh, there's so much good magic in there. You won't regret it. Hey, whoa, hey, look at this bad boy. You should definitely subscribe if you haven't already. Subscribe, then watch that. Oh, it's a good day to treat yourself.